Lucas, you're back. Thank you. Uh, why does the U.S. military defend the Kurds but not the other Syrian people? Uh, we are fighting right now, as you know, uh, ISIL in Syria. But that does not mean we aren't concerned about what's happening in Syria. This is a civil war that is a humanitarian catastrophe brought on uh, by the Syrian regime, aided and abetted by uh, allies like uh, Russia and Iran. And uh, we have, uh, obviously, significant concern about what's happening in Syria overall. But our fight and the national security threat right now uh, that is most direct to the United States is ISIL. And we'll continue to, to wage this campaign that um, I might add, Lucas, as I've said, we've gained momentum in that, came, uh, that campaign. We uh, uh, continue to take steps like we have in the last 24 to 48 hours to, uh, to deal with what we see is the most direct threat right now to the United States. I can rephrase that, Peter. Why does the U.S. military protect the Kurds against the Assad regime in northeast Syria, but not the rest of the Syrian people against the Assad regime? Uh, Lucas, we are doing, carrying out our campaign with our local partners against ISIL. We have a diplomatic effort, a significant diplomatic effort that is underway even today, even at this hour, being led by my colleagues in the State Department to try and address the situation in Syria, to do everything we can to uh, keep the Syrian people and uh, ease the suffering of the Syrian people. This is a responsibility for the Assad regime and for uh, players like, uh, like Russia that have significant leverage over the Assad regime to get them to ultimately resolve what we believe cannot be resolved militarily, and that's a diplomatic solution to the situation in Syria. Is Russia and Iran, is that what's preventing the United States against taking any kind of military action against the Assad regime? Uh, Lucas, again, this is a situation where we're trying to address the Syrian civil war from a diplomatic uh, standpoint. We are fighting a military campaign against ISIL, uh, and we're going to continue that campaign even at the same time that, uh, again, our State Department colleagues try and resolve, and our other players, other allies uh, in the region try and resolve what's happening in the Syrian civil war. It is a, a, a catastrophe, it's a disaster, a human suffering that we see every single day. We absolutely are, are, are concerned with that and worried about that and want to do what we can. Getting rid of ISIL is one way uh, to try and address what's going on in Syria and the violence we're seeing. And the barbarity of what ISIL is carrying out is the reason we are carrying out this military campaign. Just one point of clarity.